Now for something completely different, Victory Day. That marks the end of World War II in Europe. Specifically, the capitulation of Nazi forces to the Allies. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Allies were the Soviet Union, Russia, Canada, France, the United Kingdom, the United States, and other principal Allied nations. Now, in 1945, yesterday, the Second World War ended. The Soviet government announced the victory early on the 9th of May after the signing ceremony in Berlin. And it is, of course, Victory Day, it's known in Russia. It's a national holiday, and celebrations were the order of the day there yesterday. Now, newsroom, we managed to track down the Russian ambassador here in South Africa, Mr. Mikhail Petrakov. And this is what he said about Victory Day. Celebrating the 71st anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany in what we call the Great Patriotic War. It is really uh, a day of great importance to us because the Great Patriotic War was uh, the greatest tragedy in the history of my country, a time uh, also of the greatest triumph because only the Soviet Union lost 27 million people in four years. This is more than half of the population of South Africa today. And uh, we engaged 80, 80 percent of German forces, and Germans suffered 80 percent of their casualties in the Eastern Front, which was four times longer than uh, all the fronts of other allies had uh, with, the, with the Germans. So, uh, what role did Russia play in, in bringing that war to an end? Uh, it played the major role there. Uh, I've just named you uh, the figures. Of course, we were not fighting alone with our allies, and South Africa was among them, and we are uh, grateful and proud uh, for fighting together during that time uh, for that uh, brotherhood which we developed uh, during this time, but uh, we uh, had uh, the major losses and we engaged most part of uh, German forces during that time. Mm -hmm. Now, how did the idea of the commemoration came about and, and the importance of those type of celebrations or commemorations in fighting neo-Nazism, uh, including racism? The 9th of May, uh, the Victory Day actually teaches us three lessons. The first one is the lesson of unity. Uh, only through united uh, efforts of our population, multinational, multi-creed, multi-language, that uh, we could defeat our enemies together with our allies. The second lesson is never again, never again the atrocities which had happened during the war, Holocaust, one of the most terrible, uh, must repeat themselves. And the third lesson is not to allow it to repeat itself. We must keep our memories, not to falsify history, to keep all the memorials uh, and sculptures and uh, graves, and uh, thus we must commemorate uh, th that event. Mm -hmm. So, now, uh, as per... Yes, go ahead. Now, now looking forward, uh, Ambassador, into the future, how can the world attain and sustain sustainable peace? Uh, before coming to that, I'll tell you two more things about the way we commemorate yes. uh, the, the, the victory because it's important for the next question as well. Uh, as President Putin said today, uh, it's both, 9th of May is both a state and a family celebration because so many families were touched by the war. So we celebrated by a military parade, which is a state-organized event, and by an action which is called the Immortal Regiment. It was initially a regional initiative coming from Siberia. Very simple, non-political. People taking the portraits of their fathers and grandfathers and coming out in the streets to march to commemorate their heroism. That uh, signified that these uh, heroes were there out in the streets in spirit with their descendants. Uh, 6,000 people in 2012, 4 million people 2015. This is my father, the late father, second lieutenant in the Russian and uh, Soviet Navy, who is together with me today in spirit as part of the Immortal Regiment as well. As I've said, it is very important to keep memories and act together uh, to ensure uh, lasting peace. 
Only through collective efforts on the basis of international law, the UN Charter, on the best basis of equality and respect of mutual interests that we can move ahead and ensure a peaceful future of the world. Ambassador, thank you so much for your thoughts on this wonderful day. And how are you celebrating it today? Oh, uh, I'm going today uh, to the Russian Orthodox Church where there will be a commemorative service uh, wearing this ribbon, which is called St. George's Ribbon, uh, for uh, Russia, in which it existed since the 18th century. It is the symbol of an unbroken, unbreakable spirit of my na nation, which defeated Nazism, and we remember. Very interesting. Many calls for war and revolution, in especially the South Africa of today. Very often, I s we think that these kinds of revolutionaries have never endured the hardships of war and let us never have another world war. 